Hey loves, welcome back. I hope everyone is having an amazing day. Today's video is going to be a collab. Me and the beautiful Alana. No, it's Elena, guys. Elena. This cranberry look, which I think is absolutely amazing. Girl, you did that thing. You did that thing. And I'm coming to you guys with a smoky green eye and a fairly nude-ish lip. This is a lippy that I have been rocking for a minute now. As some of you have asked, what is it that I'm wearing? So I will show you that in the video. So make sure you go to Alana's channel. Make sure you subscribe, show some love, thumbs up, leave comments. Do the same thing over here, okay? Don't leave a sister hanging. I love hearing from you guys. I love seeing that you like something. And if you want to see more collabs, if you want to see more smoky eyes, whatever, leave it all down below in the comments area. I am so trying to work on that description box, guys. You know I absolutely suck at that description box. So please be patient with me. We hope you enjoyed this collab. Thank you so much for tuning in. And now, let's go see how to get this look. So to start off, I'm going to take the Naked Heat Palette and I'm going to go in with Ashes, which is this burgundy-ish kind of color there. And I'm going to go ahead and lightly blend this into the crease. And I'm placing it the most product on the outer corner and then just blending. taking this black gel liner from L'Oreal and a Makeup Forever 226 brush and I'm just going to place this on my lid as my base for my eyeshadow color. And it's black because we're doing more of a smoky look. The black will just intensify and deepen the color that we add to our lid. With the same blending brush that we used in our crease color, I'm going to take and just blend out those edges of that cream shadow that we put and blend it upward. Depending on the product you're working with, if you wanna work quickly, you may wanna do one eye at a time. So now I'm going to take NARS' Night Order Eyeshadow, which is just so pretty. See if I can get a swatch here for you guys. It's such a, it's a blackened emerald. I don't know if you're gonna be able to see that. It's just a blackened emerald color with, I know you gotta see it now. Okay, excuse the nails, they need to be filled. So I'm just gonna take that on a Royal Langnickel medium eye shader brush and then I'm going to pack that on. And I'm packing it on because I'm gonna go back with the blender brush and blend out the edges. So I wanna make sure I don't lose too much product in the blending process, which you tend to do. And with the same blending brush that we've been using, I'm gonna go ahead and just blend out where the green and the black begin to fade just want to fade those edges of the green and I'm not adding any product to the brush and I'm going to go ahead with um, a concealer and I'm going to clean up this area right here and do my under eye highlight and contour as well to clean that stuff up and then we will come back and we will finish the eyes. Thank you. 
So for contour, I'm going to use the Black Opal True Color Foundation Stick in Black Walnut. I'm going to use this and just contour my face and blend that in as well. about it being too thick that'll fix up when we you know clean this up and on the sides in the forehead and down the side of the nose and I only put a little bit on the sides of the nose because it's gonna um, drag through with the brush right there and under there I'm gonna go ahead and take my Cosette or Cosetti brush number S145 um, from not using a blender brush I have begun really really loving to use this brush to put on my contour and my highlight so what I do is obviously I blend out the highlight part first because you don't want to go in on the dark and then use it to do the highlight that just it's messy who does that so I'm gonna go ahead and just blend this in So to set my under eye concealer, I'm going to go in with this Becca Soft Light Blurring Powder. It's not, ooh, it's not translucent. It does have, I don't know if it's going to come up. It has a itty bitty, bitty, little bitty, itty bitty tint to it. And I'm just dropping everything. So I'm going to go ahead in with the Makeup Forever Dual Ended Brush. And I don't bake guys you hear me say I only do cookies and cakes and stuff like that so I'm just gonna take a little bit at a time and get my mirror because I can't see anything and just start to set my under eye area with this and I'm doing a little bit at a time okay if you need to blot some on the back of your hand do so like a line or lines under your eye you want to make sure you smooth those out before you go ahead and set it with um, a powder okay to contour I'm using my NARS Gina contour um, this is my this is my boo this is my boo using the same brush that I just used to set my under eye concealer I'm just gonna go over those places that we did contour So you guys know I love my Girl Long Bronzer. Um, I think it's still in my luggage <laughs> um, from my recent travels. So I'm going to go ahead with the Becca 
bronzer. This is the Sunlit Bronzer in Maui Nights. And um, I am going to actually take a bigger brush. I don't think this one is. No. Nah. You know what? I'm going to stick with the dual ended brush here. And I'm going to take the uh, fluffy side. I guess they have numbers. Oh, yeah. So the fluffy side that I'm using. Okay, no. So this is the MRU side, I think. And this is wavy. Okay, yeah. I don't know. So I'm going to dip that in. And then I'm not going to. I'm actually going to just uh, tap it. While I have this in my hands, I do love to use this actually in my eyes. Not in my eyes, but like above my eyes. So I'm not gonna take the other blending brush we were using because it is loaded with products. So I'm actually trying to find, and I have another one here. So I'm going to take a little bit of this Maui bronzer on the brush, and I'm just gonna go ahead blend this above all those other colors. So I'm gonna go in with my Urban Decay, their 24 hour glide on pencil in Covet. It is an emerald green and then I'm going to take the eyeshadow night porter and I'm going to smudge it all over. I'm gonna go ahead in with the eyeshadow night quarter and then I'm just going to smudge or blend or top it, however you want to say it. So for highlight, I'm going to go in with the Dose of Colors Royal Hotness Highlighter, and I'm going to so I'm going to put it on first, do it in my inner eye corner, my face, then I'm going to spray my face, and then put it back again. My lip concoction is one that I have been loving for like the past two and a half months. I have the um, Louboutin Lip Gloss. I will have the name right here because it's not on the container, unfortunately. It's actually on the box and thankfully I did not throw the box away. But this has been staying in my purse. I figure you got these lip glosses and lipsticks, just use them. I mean. Everybody's holding on to them and not using them because they're Christian Louboutin. It's a lip gloss, okay? It's a lipstick, so just use it. Of course, Chestnut Lip Liner is my go-to, my holy grail lip liner from MAC. Um, so I'm going to line my lips with that, and then I'm going to go back and forth with this lip gloss that just tried to fall out of my hands. Who does that? That's just rude. Anywho, let's go.
right guys so this is the final look I hope you guys enjoyed thank you so much for watching please don't forget to go to Alana's channel I will have the link down below to her video as well as to her channel show some love give thumbs up subscribe you know do everything that we really appreciate you guys for doing Alana baby thank you so much for collabing I had so much fun your look as always is amazing and popping and gorgeous I hope you all have a wonderful day that's awesome.